the regular season title back in 19. But the fact that they won the 1969 <laughs> national championship. There you go. Red Bird Power. They're trying to win this one game set here at Bob Walker. They only trailed for a half an inning in this game. And they scored a run in the sixth, two in the seventh, two in the eighth. So has six outs left, and here's Cole Austin. Strike one, it's a lot of it's just 67. finding that floating curveball. 67. That's almost like an Evis curve. Well, it has some similarities. The slowness in it's one thing, but the big break is another. And a little sharper, but not any faster. First at bat for Austin in the game. You see his season numbers. Still trying to get on track a few weeks in. If you're Arkansas, you need base runners. You really don't want to take one right down the middle if you're Cole Austin, but again, you want to be selective and get the pitcher you're looking for. That's a great pitcher's pitch. Only 86, but Anthony's oh. right on or just off that corner, but he got the strike. It's perfect location. Over but low, the count's going full. Razorbacks had three straight hits last inning, but they only got one run. And then the Redbirds put two more on the board in the top of this inning. Oh my. Wow. Boston was getting ready to take the shit guard off, thinking he had a walk, but he was rung up. Too patient. That pitch is, that's too close that, to take. That's a pitch I think that was more than generous. On the outside corner. Salado will take it. That's right really can turn around the complexion of this inning. It was. It could have been off the plate a little bit, but you may as well live out there because if they're going to sit back. Back to the top of the lineup in Braden Webb. <laughs> this expanded zone and the uh, strike throwing ability of Salat has not been a good combination for these Razorback hitters. You know, Troy, in any sport, football, basketball, and I guess you could say baseball, oftentimes the conversation is don't let one game beat you the next time out. Sure. You know, don't let a football game on one Saturday linger and then beat you the next week. And you have to wonder just a bit, don't you, about the... Uh, the frustrations this weekend, the long travel day and everything, and how this carried over to today? I think so. It seems like that Arkansas had some big opportunities and, and missed them, especially an inning ago. You, you scratched out only one run, and you can see some, some frustration for, from the Razorback dugout just a bit. Because that felt like the inning with three straight hits, they were going to take the lead and see if they could hold on. Instead, they only get the one, and all of a sudden now they're down three. Yeah. I think so. It's, it's it's a team that's just trying to kind of recalibrate. You thought they would do that today, but I'll tell you what, the Redbirds have thrown the kitchen sink at the Razorbacks. Well, they've played a great game. They really have. They've got the uh, eight runs, the 11 base hits, seen some really good arms coming out of their bullpen. It's an Illinois State team that they're going to play eight opponents this year, counting Arkansas, that were in last year's tournament. Well, for a team that's decimated with injuries, I've been impressed by how they've kind of filled those gaps to this point. And I think that's probably what Coach Holm has done the best as far as navigating around some injuries. I mean, even with the fact that on Saturday, worth repeating, they gave up 28 runs to a Sun Belt Conference team. Right. And uh, out here today, leading late at Bumwalk. <laughs> Maybe we use a term that he talked about in the, from a, a season ago, and he said, yeah, in the regional. He said, we're using a little smoke and mirrors. So I don't know if uh, that's what's happened today, but this, this team has, has played very good baseball, very solid, had the big hits when they needed to. Definitely this game's not over, but they're in the driver's seat. Brayden Webb with a good at bat right here. He's really battling Salata. 
This is where Arkansas, if they're to come back, they need these good events to result in base running. We'll play on with one out in the bottom of the eighth. Please. Feels like it's temperatures really dropping and that sun has gone down. And it's cool things off. This one should bend out of play, and it will by a few rows. It's still 58. That's not bad, but it was probably about 65 in the sun. That was feeling pretty good earlier on this afternoon. And Braden Webb just continues to spoil good pitch after good pitch. It's at least 10 pitches in the event here with Webb. Kenneth's gone full, second straight hitter. A 12 pitch at bat and Webb wins it. Wow, that was a really good AB. He's going to get some. Out of the back from his head coach on that at bat. Boy, just a good quality at bat line drive right back up the box. Good job, Braden Webb. There's a lot of through the kitchen sink at him. He just couldn't get it. Yes. I mean, that feels good not only for Webb, that's a pick me up of sorts for the team. And if Moore and Kerstad, the next two scheduled hitters, can take advantage, we'll see if Arkansas still has a little bit of life with five outs remaining. Moore twice today has flied out to the fence. He did single on the fifth and score. Fans all over Greg Harmon again. Here at Robert Moore, and there's a pitch inside. You really don't want to get out of the way of this pitch. Any way you can get on base to allow Hessen Kerstad to reach up to the plate to be the tying run, Ground that's what your second. job is. Yeah, you want to get Kerstad up there. That'll help. Robert Moore, another base hit. Bob Moore, ball player. And there's two runners on with one out. How big is that strikeout now to start this inning when Austin thought he had ball four? Yeah, I, I agree. That was, that was a pitch that we felt like on... Replay that was a, a ball, but just a perfect piece of hitting by Robert Moore. See the third baseman, he was playing in to take away the bunt. Moore just shot it past him, and now the Hogs have got a rally going with the guy you want coming to the plate, and that's Kirsten. And a new pitcher coming into the game for the Redbirds. So we've gone back and forth with some 